Hello, my name is Chris Dove, missionary with Project Minana International um, in the Dominican Republic. But I'm not in the Dominican Republic right now. I'm in my parents' house in Northeast Ohio, which we are grateful for. And we are here until the Dominican quarantine ends and flights return where we're allowed to go back. Uh, we are so grateful that we have a place to come and to kind of wait out this time. Uh, because this quarantine is kind of a marker in life. It's one of these things that when we look back, we'll always say, what happened to you during this time? And so that's what I want to talk about today. I was reading uh, Second Chronicles. I don't know if that's number one on your quarantine reading list, but I was reading through it and a theme started to occur. That they were going, the kings were going, then all of a sudden something would happen and they were viewed differently. They had some marker in their life. So I want to talk about a couple of instances because they can work both ways. Good, marker, bad. Bad, marker, good. Good, marker, continue good. Or bad, marker, continue bad. Right? Those are the four ways it can go. But I want to talk about those for a second. You see, unfortunately, there is a lot that fall into the category that a lot of the kings fall into. Doing good... And then they have this marker of pride or fear, where they stop relying on God. They rely on themselves or others. They see what's going on around, and they forget to rely on God. And it changes them, and from that point forward, they're a different person. They forgot who their identity was. Their identity was in Christ, and instead they changed it to something else, so much less. You're Identity of sin is not bigger than your identity of a child of Christ. There's no sin that is stronger than that, that can cover, that's stronger than the blood of Christ. There's just not. So don't let this be that to you. Something that changes you. And from this point on, fear or whatever it is, you come out as a different person. If you're following Christ, remember that who your identity is. It is a child of God. And that is so much stronger than anything this world has to throw at you. The other category is those who don't know Christ. This can be your marker of a time where you take to know Christ. And I, and I challenge you in the era of challenges, if you don't know Christ, to read one of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Uh, they're the four first books of the New Testament. Um, Mark, Luke, John, all of them are great. Read it skeptically. I don't care. Just read one. I challenge you. Uh, so come, you can use this time of quarantine. And unlike the marker of something bad, like pride or fear, it can be humility and learning what your true identity is. Rather than chasing perceived happiness after perceived happiness, you can find true joy in Christ. The other category is those of us that have been following and we come into this quarantine and then we need to keep following. This will be a marker. People will remember it. Just as 9-11 is a marker. For my parents, it's JFK. There's times in life that are markers. This is a marker. And so when someone asks you, what happened in that year of 2020, the year of the, the coronavirus, you can say, let me tell you about the coronavirus. It wasn't even about the coronavirus for me. It was about my relationship. I didn't know Christ, and I took this challenge and read a Bible, read a, read a gospel, and it completely changed me. Or, I was going, fear, and it changed me. I hope you have a story to tell. I hope that in 20 years from now, when somebody asks you about that crazy year of 2020, you can say, yeah. Let me tell you about Corona. No, it's more important than Corona. Let me tell you about what happened during that time. I found my true identity. Uh, thank you for this opportunity, and I hope you use this marker as a great time to witness to others. Thank you, guys.